Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, Legacies Alert tournament. This time I decided to bring Carthal, which I have never brought to a tournament in the past, I believe. Uh, so this guy is the mage uh, sort of class here. He's got a lot of different spells um, to use. And um, Battle Fury is the big one that I wanted to use in this one. This gives a unit charging and plus one power. Uh, and plus one action if not combined and their health becomes one. So this is a uh, very very strong I think this is one of uh, the best uh, Gath cards at least um, Because it gives charging to a unit that wouldn't normally have it and now this obviously um, If you've looked at some of the Gath cards will pair really nicely with the score guys These guys who already have one life, but a massive amount of power are very strong when they're equipped with charging um, and plus one power. So these are the main units. Usually I will draft maybe one of these. Um, I have both to fit different situations. If the opponent has a lot of like five life stuff, Scorch Helion's a perfect answer because this gets plus one power and you can one shot things. Um, if they've got bigger things than that or maybe even smaller things, uh, Scorch Archer is the better pick. For a couple of reasons, one obviously because it's range, so it doesn't take retaliate damage, but also this actually has one extra range essentially than the Helion, um, so this can only threaten this space, but the Archer can step up to here and actually threaten this space here as well. So he's got one extra range, so very good against smaller things and very good against larger things. And then one thing to note about Carthal is because he's a mage, you almost always are going to have to draft this Rod of Asmodee. I mean, it depends. Some matchups I'll only draft Battle Fury and then I don't need the extra range. This has four range on it already, so you really don't need extra range for it. But I do want to run extra spells in this, and for my extra spells, I've got my pick of Chain Lightning 1 and Chain Lightning 2. Um, now, Carthal also has access to Lightning Bolt, so why didn't I draft Lightning Bolt? I do have Lightning Bolt 1, but this is... Uh, this is one damage, this is more for like, eh, it's a one gold card if I need to answer like many many one life creatures that are out there. And it's got extra range because it's uh, combinable, minus one movement. Um, but I picked Chain Lightning uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I think that this is more efficient overall. I do think that there is merit to Lightning Bolt and there's reasons to run Lightning Bolt. Um, but I think this is just more efficient damage wise. Um, and with the Rod of Asmodee, you get 3 range. Uh, Lightning Bolt kind of follows the same sort of damage numbers, but it's got uh, kind of 1 extra range, but you have to move Carthal in order to get that 1 extra range. Um, and I'm not a big fan, because you don't always want to move Carthal that far up. That, put his, that puts him out of position quite a bit. So um, there's a big downside to Lightning Bolt's range in that regard, where you have to move him out of position. Um, so Chain Lightning, you don't have to do that, and you get essentially extra damage. It's also super cheap. Um, Lightning Bolt 2 uh, does 2 damage, same as Chain, chain Lightning 1, but it costs 2 gold as well. So this is cheaper in gold cost, um, and it's got that extra potential damage. Now, if your opponent's smart, they're probably, you might be thinking they might not play into this Chain Lightning, like they're not going to group up two creatures together, um, but one thing that this does do is provide a threat of uh, that damage. So let's just say your opponent has a creature here and they're thinking about moving up a creature here for whatever reason. Maybe they want to take like the center space. Whoops, where'd you go? Maybe they want to take the center shield or something. <clears throat> um, but you block that from happening because of this chain lightning, uh, because of this chain lightning one here. And now I think a lot of players run chain lightning two because it's more damage. This does three, two, and one. Uh, however, I don't think you're going to get ch actual chains off very often. I think that chain lightning one is very, very strong uh, just because it's four damage for one gold. Whereas the chain lightning two, it technically adds two extra damage, but realistically the most chains you're gonna get is two. If you're very, very lucky, you'll get three, but it's not really a consideration, I would say. Uh, you're mainly looking at the deal three and two damage here as a chain, so you're really only tacking on one extra damage, whereas the chain lightning one uh, is four damage for one gold doubling the gold price. Anyways, it's more efficient in most cases, um, but I have the Chain Lightning 2 in here to counter 
Uh, maybe they have a lot of three life units. There's a point in the tournament where my opponent does have a lot of three life, so I drafted the Chain Lightning too because yeah, it's just better. At one it's better to one shot things. Um, but most of the time, Chain Lightning 1 is just super good. And this costs two, 2 mana as opposed to 1, so it's a lot better because I want to be Battle Furying every round as well. So that's 2 mana draining from my mana pool each turn. It's not the end of the world because I also have uh, Arcane Stone. It gives me mana regen every turn, but it's an option. Um, the only other things I would like to talk about so that I don't take too much time is Spike Color Hound and Vesuvian Warlock. Uh, Spike Color Hound I was my original thought with how good uh, Battle Fury could be because again it's got one life, it's a small little creature, and it's got Counter Strike so if you give this plus one power um, you don't even have to kill something with it, you could just move it out into the field and your opponent doesn't really want to hit into this because they're going to take two damage to retaliate unless they're ranged or magical, or sorry ranged or a backstab. Um, so I thought this was a really neat tool to use with Battle Fury. Again, I'm probably only running one of these Scorg things, so it probably is going to die at some point. You got other options then. Um, but Vesuvian Warlock is also quite cool with Battle Fury, uh, because it's already, like, w once you use its mana, it's kind of a useless body. But if you Battle Fury this, it is no longer useless. Because uh, this is actually a very good attacker, if it manages to get this attack off. So if you give it charging, this is 2 power, and it applies burn. That is 3 damage for a unit that essentially should be dead weight once its mana is drained. Um, typically, like Norfang Sorcerer and Priests and things, they're pretty useless once you uh, exhaust them all. Norfang Sorcerer is a bit better. Um, but this same story, except if you Battle Fury, it, it becomes just a devastating tool. It's got three range essentially with that charging ability, two damage burn, excellent, excellent value. So that's pretty much it for uh, the creatures I want to talk about. Um, last thing I do want to mention is the reason that I think Battle Fury is so good, and that is because other factions have cards like Deepwood Sentinel, and uh, Tactician, so if you're unaware, these two cards are very uh, mobility friendly. Uh, the Sentinel moves your creatures around, the Tactician also moves your creatures around, and these are both, uh, as I would call, tricks that uh, these two other factions can use, and uh, movement tricks like this are very important in a position-based game like this, in my personal opinion. Um, not just because it's a nice little extra mobility on one of your creatures, but because it gives a threat of extra mobility on all of your creatures. Well, the ones that are in range. So this forces your opponent to play around uh, all of your creatures essentially as if they had one extra movement on every single one of your cards until you tap these guys out, of course. So movement tricks are hugely impactful in this game, and uh, Gath just doesn't have tricks like this. They're very... they, they play very fair, um, as, as opposed to the other two factions. They've got just raw damage, raw stat numbers, raw movement. They don't really get affected that much. Um, the only thing that really modifies numbers like that is the Battle Fury. Uh, apart from the Troll Shaman, but I don't really like the Troll Shaman card. I think it's a bit overpriced unless you're going super hard down that game plan. Um, but this, uh, being able to give that extra power is a little trick, but also that charging, it gives a surprise extra movement to your creatures as well, like these Scorg little guys. So I think that just makes Battle Fury super, super strong. Um, and one last thing before we get into the tournament is that there was a rule change for this one. Uh, the Grovekeeper Druid is now changed to where the Treon that is summoned here comes into play tapped. Uh, we were trying this out because Grovekeeper Druid has just been devastating the Discord server recently, and uh, I just think this is an absolutely broken card in its current state. But um, coming in tapped is what's going to happen in this tournament. Whether that happened or not, I'm not sure during this tournament, but um, I don't know. Someone else can tell you that. But that's a rule that's been changed, just so you're aware. Uh, so let's get into the tournament finally and uh, see what happens. Uh, yeah, knights are big and scary. Cool, right? In lightning mostly. But you didn't bring shield bash. No. I don't know why everyone always says that. <laughs> Can I just not run shield bash, that thing? No, you're not allowed. Can't come into this new Aaron Guard faction and not run shield bash. It's against the rules. I don't want to though. <clears throat> it's against the code. I'm gonna double pike myth.
rest and sitting your dad, you're probably gonna run something with more than six health. If not, I'd be very surprised. Just pop and brave her right off the bat. Oh, interesting. Yeah, oh, a four. More units. It's on the right now. Just to rest. I'm gonna give just rod. Okay. <clears throat> I won't forget to burn priests then. I don't forget the priest. Um. Do I need? You have a lot of hounds. Right, you don't have tactician. No. Which means. Didn't you see the message safe. I posted? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no tactician. Dragon hatchling safe. Are they though? They're so safe. There's nothing you can do. The game only exists in round one, right? Guess so. That's so... Spellbreaker. <clears throat> um, Spellbreaker. I think we'll run the Helion. Um, you can draft a Pegasus, but that's probably fine. Hmm. I need to run the beat one. I mean, Black Dragon always ends up not working out with the lead, so we'll just run a regular longbow archer. Makes sense against the Helion. <clears throat> and your many hounds. Very many hounds, yes. <laughs> um... And your one vulture, for some reason. Yes, we got one vulture. Uh... One day it'll work. I, uh, I'm still undecided about whether the vulture is worth it or not. It's kind of eh. To be fair, it's a pretty good buff target just because it has base 4 movement and flying. But other than that, it doesn't really mm -hmm. work in all honesty. We have no equipment either. Interesting. I don't need equipment! <laughs> Are he's you a sure? big enough he's a big enough boy to take care of himself. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> um let's run just an archer. Might not be too good here. Let me survive the hatchling shot. Might not be too bad. Yeah, do survive a hatchling shot. Yeah, but I so. survive a pikeman shot. I'll shoot you first. Pikeman's good. 
Okay, that allows me to put a friend line there somewhere. Uh, honestly, what if I run the warlock here? Turn one silence, you heal it, I guess. But do I care? Do I? Yeah, we'll drop him there. Seems like a decent spot. You can't affect him. And he gets to do something. Oh yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I always forget about the Pegasus. That's okay. It's technically minus one gold, but you do have to use actions to kill it. So I think. It and I lose one action. It's all. Uh, it's generally at least, fine. At least one action. I think it's worth it. Just put a Pegasus Let's there to do... stay on. Battle Fury. A Battle Fury. A bit of Longbow Archer. Other Archer. Okay, so Hounds aren't looking too good. <clears throat> uh, actually, it's not a bad defense tool. Yeah, that does deal with the Pegasus turn one. Batting ram's bad idea. Much magic. You do have the spell breaker. I do have a spell breaker out. <clears throat> Maybe no alternate, but heavy knights still seem good. Heavy Knight's amazing against Gath. All these four life stuff. Knight's amazing against everything, let's be honest. <laughs> also true. And my other priest. Second priest. Okay. Um. So another archer, I think I'm gonna need some bombers for your knights, which aren't down yet, but you're you're drafting a knight. Maybe not. You do decide to go with battering ram. I mean goblin bomber is still good against a battering ram. Another pikeman. And they deal with the archers. And they can survive a hashling shot. It's pretty, pretty alright with me. <clears throat> so more heavy nights to come. gonna be pretty useless this match anyways isn't it <clears throat> um let's draft arcane stone it's a pretty perfect three gold there mana regen okay Here, still have some stuff, but it's fine. Heavy night. Uh, Hellbear. You're at 51, okay. 
Um, So how do I deal with defense? Um, you really haven't drafted that much that's big yet. I guess I want to take these longbow archers, so maybe a flanker is worth it. Um, Let's do this first. 53. More archer. <clears throat> we don't have troll shaman. No troll shaman. Stinky card. <laughs> <clears throat> Not a big fan of Troll Shaman. Troll Shaman's just too expensive for me, especially if my game plan isn't like hard into Helions and stuff. Pretty expensive support you're gonna die. But... Means I can't charge these pikemen. Twenty nine gold. Let's plan this out. Oh, that's, that's exactly enough. One shield bear. Shield bear. Well, that sounds scary. Shield bear. <laughs> bear with that the shield. Sound, that does sound scary. Aaron <laughs> got unit released. Shield bear. Shield bear. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I mean, maybe I do go the other warlock if I can silence the Helios. Pretty huge. These longbow archers are going to get a little bit annoying. But you don't have tactician. They're gonna stick at three range, which is still a lot. <clears throat> Too much magic damage if I go <laughs> bombers and everything. <clears throat> uh, still got Tristan to play. Troll Berserker, maybe? Not too bad. Other options are Manticore, we got Iron Hoof. Just can charge the back. You can just block with Pikemen though, Iron Hoof's kinda bad. I think we'll try this. 60. Okay. <clears throat> just a big unit that can defend center. Contest this heavy knight potentially. 
Only does three damage, I guess, but... comes down. Putting gold. <laughs> On sixty. I was contemplating a heavy knight, but. I don't think the dif difference between not heavy and ultra is pretty small here. I don't think the yeah. I mean, I don't think ultra really helps you. I don't think I have anything five life. Uh, Manticore. Yeah. Puts me to seventy. If I go for sorcerer as well, that's seventy-seven. Um. No, as long as it was the yeah, main thing I was worried about, I was like, I have like, no magic damage. Yeah, I mean, you can still draft uh, Dawnbringer oh. Paladin. Good, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 14. But I think that's fine. Now, I haven't drafted a healer of my own, but do I need one? You do have the silence, that's pretty annoying. Right, if I do Scorg Sorcerer, then I can't afford a healer. Uh. My advice, Kath doesn't need a healer. Like, I don't know if I want it or not, but like the silence on Carthal could be pretty devastating, I won't lie. <clears throat> So the other option is the thing is a Scorg Sorcerer is so good though. I can one shot a heavy knight. Survives with one health against a Manticore. Does it? Uh steals four right, this plus does three five in retaliate? Yeah. So right. Yeah, it does survive with one health. It's a little annoying. Maybe I don't want the Razor Mane. I mean, we can draft it later, potentially. I think I do want Troll Doctor, though. Because, yeah. Here you go. Don't particularly want to get silenced. I got too many mages on the board. Eleven gold up. Sixty-nine. I think I do want talisman of precision. That means no shields, but should be able to work with that. Um, so if I want this, I got three gold remaining. <clears throat> three gold can be a flanker. Uh, does flanker do much? Honestly, kind of weak to the pikemen. Flanker. Can go for bomber. I mean, bomber is pretty decent. Let's 
Let's go bomber and see what you play. <clears throat> and no razor main. No razor main. I can still draft it if I want it. I'm waiting for you to pull the trigger Maybe on that. Uh... This mage is good enough. I'll leave that. Just a uh, one lightning strike and heavy knight. Take care of it. Cool. So you don't have enough gold for black dragons, so I don't have to worry about that. So maybe you just... This yeah, no black be. dragon. Tip Tempest Mage. Yeah, that is pretty annoying yeah. against the Razor Main. I think that I can't really draft a Razor Main. Um... I mean, you can. I could. So we have 10 gold then instead. Of course, I can't defend against this heavy knight super well. Um, Six gold. Uh, could run trench digger. This just gets one shot. All right, so it activates. Yeah, I mean, you, I, you're going I first. Run every night here to kill a trench digger. That's not worth it. There's so much yeah, stuff here. Yeah, that is true. It. Could be an Too option. Uh, got Warlock. Seven five. There's another Warlock, huh? Debatable. I might just need damage though to take these uh, knights. But what is my damage? Um. We got Lackey, that's like our last bit of damage. Maybe War Grider. It's gotta be these heavy knights that we take out. I think I do want another one actually. And then potentially we just throw in Trench Digger as the last option. Uh, no War Grider, it's okay. This is out in front, it's fine. Karth will go here. Ooh, aggressive card. Here we go, yeah. I mean, you got no tactician, so I'm feeling safe. <laughs> Only a hellbear. Only a hellbear. Oh, that's so Braveheart. So, that's literally the only gonna... thing that Braveheart affects. Yep. <laughs> Could just run two squires. Squire's pretty good. <clears throat> Yeah, it's run maybe just two squires. <clears throat> Matching just, my actions. Uh, max, the max actions, yeah. You can technically kill him, but I don't think you want to do that. Org Archer, yeah. Alright, I think uh, this is what I'll go with. <clears throat> Sounds good. Are you ready for I'm good to go. Worth it. It's Pegasus that might be. What else would I do? Is there anything else that's threatened? I think Warlock's your best target, but because you still could I have to attack it with the score archer. Yeah, could in the future. I will. One gold. Loss, but I do get an action out of you. Yeah, I'm almost forced to take it here too because you can shield it. 
Um, I mean, not the end of the world. I can just shoot it back. Let's see. What are your benefits to taking Trench Digger here? Probably not a lot. I mean, my Halo's right next to it. Yeah. Just die. No. <laughs> I think I'll just take my action here. I mean, even if I immediately might be shield, you still just boop. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, we'll go less. Yeah, these heavy knights are going to be the largest piece in this game. Well, that spellbreaker is going to be pretty nasty yeah. too. If I silence it, you just remove it. Like, I'm just giving it my. Also, got to find some physical damage to deal with the spellbreaker, <laughs> which I have currently none of. Scorgs. Oh, I guess the scorgs, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, scorgs yeah. a pretty good answer. Rending it. Move him up one. I guess I could fill that hole. The only damage is lightning bolt or chain lightning one. I don't know why I keep acting, looking at the gold count. Does it do anything? <laughs> I do that as well. That <laughs> a half of it. I think I'll give him magic resist. Giving magic resist. Nice, you can just slap the bear then. That's kind of scary. Could. That's kind of scary. I could. I think then my move has to be this to protect. I'll try to win back some time bank in the early uh, turns here. Takes a shield, yep. Um uh, that's kinda of scary. It's four. Battle fairy and what's four. Can just heal it up then. And with magic resist you can't finish it off. Could roar it back, but then I still get the shield. That's what I'm saying, because you can't really hit... Hmm. Do that then, you can't threaten anything here. Oh, I can wait. Looking at your army might actually just be best to... Move him up here soon. Protect. Hatchling, but I'm not too scared of Hatchling. That does block my Warlock coming here and silencing. It's I mean, it's... Stop it, but not a good... Doesn't no, stop it, but it, it deters me. <laughs> I think I'll go there. Uh, let's Battle Fury. <clears throat> I'm battle fury in. I think he's the battle fury target. All right. Just move just in here. Out of Hellion range. Protects the center. I don't technically get hit twice, but I think Hatchling is a good idea. Mm, yeah, my Hatchling oh, just kind of dies. I mean, center is pretty protected with your longbows. Can't even move like a 4 HP up or anything. <clears throat> Earth will those threaten it with lightning or chain lightning? 
that's true. Well, it's pretty, that's The longbow, he does burn the priest, but he does indeed. We could also just dragon hatching it, then the shield won't matter. That is true. I think I can. I mean, I can just heavy knight over here if need be. Oh, go with that. <clears throat> Um, hmm. I think my move is this. Seems pretty good. It's at a range of pretty much everything. What is this guy of allied pathing? Yeah, you can move this up, which is Pretty, this is a pretty good spot for the Tempest Mage, I guess. Um, I guess so, but hatchling here. Uh, yeah, like, that's true. So then I'd have to I force cool it. every knight to take, and you can just heli in that. Considering all your big and scary stuffs over here, I'm fine with just having a heavy knight be here. Fair. Mop that up. Still got Tristan protecting here. Uh... This game's gonna get complicated fast. Nothing being taken in round one. It's gonna be a very complicated round two. <laughs> I'm just fine here. I'm blocking anything either because with the squires. Magic resist definitely complicates things further. <laughs> Everything's complicated. Um, what if we silence the pikemen? <laughs> An option. I think that's no, the move. No, you can't be healed then. You can't be healed. I think I gotta go for it. Uh, <laughs> really can't do that. Silence. <laughs> you can't be buffed or healed. No buffs or heals. <laughs> that means no shields. No shield bearer. You can't even 
Shield that fuck. No shield bears. <laughs> Specifically that one. I mean, there's not a lot else that I, mean, I can I guess hit. Chain lightning. That does a little bit. You can't. I do really like this spot for Tempest Mage. He just threatens so much that her. Ooh, question. How does the dispel work? If you dispel, like if you're damaged uh, and you dispel, I guess it doesn't matter because I've only got it, two damage I sources. Could, but... I would dispel first. And... Right, it's I the mean... most advantageous to you, right? Well, just the order goes. It's so move a debuff and then heal. Right. Fair enough. It doesn't matter anyways because I only deal two damage, but it is a curious thing to note. <laughs> What'd you do? Protect the longbow. Fair enough. At this point, I feel like if you're gonna kill the priest, it's gonna be something with two damage, so shielding them doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um. I guess I could have shielded the Tempest Mage, but he's fine. Most likely just gonna sit behind stuff. Uh, if I do this, I can come in, take. Uh, I mean, I think I'll just do this. It's protected him marginally by the chain lightning. Saving him to do anything. <clears throat> you know, I Things that can kill him deal two damage. I'll just hang him for one, I guess. Nice. Move you up. Moving there anyways, yeah, that's a fair spot. Yeah, I think, I, think tr I can just move Tristan here. Then I... That's... He's falling in case. I, need to I don't need to worry about the left side for now. <sighs> I am gonna have to start moving stuff. The squire's pretty threatening, not gonna lie. So we're in a back step. I think I will just move this in here to protect the Tempest Mage. Sounds good. Tempest Mage protected. You'd have to kill Tristan, the Spellbreaker, and Heavy Knight to kill him. Mm hmm. Or at least one of them, not all three. <clears throat>
This takes away my answer to your heavy knight, I guess. Uh, it's going to get tough. It's going to get tough. This is a tricky spot. <clears throat> oh, all spots tricky. <laughs> True. Um, just throw in the dragon. I don't think this is getting any other value, anyways. I mean, I could attack Tristan. I guess I could attack the heavy knight, but don't want to step in range of that spellbreaker, preferably. And the other one's under threat, so we'll just take this. Um, two of them here. Squire backwards. Okay. So that you can just move here and take him. Fair. Because then there's a one spot where Heavy Knight can't get you. Right. And this Squire's still not blocked in either because he's a slippery, slippery spry man. <laughs> himself. Mm. Why threatening spellbreaker? <clears throat> A lot of pressure going to be coming on this center space. Is it worth healing anything? Probably not. I want to heal Hellbear. I guess he still burns you, and then you can just remove it. Um... Pass. <clears throat> I think this is actually just go in there. I was a little afraid you could do that. <clears throat> No, I can so you've got threaten one, it. Two, three. Two, three. I can threaten this even if you are on back still. One, two, three. Four. Take that protect the spellbreaker. So I honestly think spellbreaker is a pretty important win condition here. Mm-hmm. I can lose a heavy knight protecting him because he's basically immune to most of your stuff. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, very tricky. Five minutes. Five minutes. I'll patch the longboard here. Uh, you're just gonna heal this, but... Uh, right, yeah, you're just gonna heal that. Not really a big point. Um... Just take an action from you. Pass with this priest. Just have Kaito and Hellion. Right, you just get to go first, eh? I do get to go first, eh? <laughs> That's an issue. Uh... That is a big issue. So we can body block. No, we can't body block even. Nope. Friends are random. Guy's kind of dead. Unfortunate. Do I just sack my guy? Your first move you you take, and then I blast back. Uh, yeah, just hit in. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me think about this. Cause if you heal, if I heal. You can. Force going first, and then. But then I there's not oh. much I can do. Going first. If I, if I heal, Joel can just take that. But then you take Carthel. Um, if you're on two. I, that is true. If I take Carthel, then this Scorg's potentially useless. You get bombed, but then. How expensive is? Oh, it's actually pretty expensive. If you heal, so it's four damage. Six, eight. He's like eight ten gold. I think I'm actually just not gonna do that. Actually, I can do this. Did not think about that. Okay. Yeah, you take him. Yeah, you just got one priest left. I'll pass them because he can't move or do anything. Yeah. Uh, like this. And round. Here you go. Uh oh. Right, if Spellbreaker just takes this, it's taken back. So then I could just start taking all your small stuff. Taking the berserk is worth it. 
it's, it's, it's gonna be a five power that's we're gonna trade that is a hell bear and he does he can get bombed but okay spellbreaker down and now that thing's down big yikes um <clears throat> do one just come in Pierce oh yeah you get Pierce That's combinable. The very least it removes the heal your turn. Would you yeah, kill this? Is combinable. And you can technically kill Tristan, but I don't think killing Tristan's ever worth it. Yeah, we'll heal this. I gotta play lightning fast now. Poke Weaken for one. Weaken him up. Going to bomb. Your priests cannot heal. They cannot because they're always boxed in. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna die anyway. To be honest. No, he just dies there. He just dies here too. That is anywhere he moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Battle Fury. He just dies. <clears throat> yeah. This guy's got pathing. the bomb here he doesn't He's safe here wait first move here wait no that's a good chain lightning <laughs> uh, the player no, and the chain lightning uh yeah one two three one two three four five it's not gonna work yeah five five yeah, Sludger. Oh, right.
will do anything. Okay. Uh, no heal. <clears throat> Yeah, just pass with the beast actually. Yep. Can't get healed, so. One, two, three, four, piercing. Oh, I should have put him in uh, Carthal's range. Whoops. My bad. That forced me to pass. Oh, you're tapped, right? Yep. Yep. Pass. And rat. Right, I can just shoot it. Here you go. Hello. Hey, Dex. Hello. What was that? Would one of you mind streaming, please? I am streaming on Twitch. Oh, wonderful. I'll shut up then and mute up. <laughs> no worries. Just gonna take out the priest. Makes sense. Uh... Silence that. Silence removed. Uh... If I slap you, then I die. I probably just run. Evasion doesn't work against lightning storms. That's true. That's pretty good. Uh, let's run away. Coming right up in there. You think so? I think moving this here is better. Because then lightning bolted, then I can easily just move up. He's threading that. Uh Oops. Uh, Battle Fury? That also works.
Mm. Yeah, just sacrifice taking the lightning storm. Watching lightning. You are just gonna take it, eh? I think so. Fair enough. I don't think I would particularly want to hit into that. I'm just gonna shoot the squire. <clears throat> right. I f oh, I forgot. It's got allied pathing, not regular pathing. <laughs> Uh, it's still a good chain lightning though. Oh wait, yeah, right, I just kill it. Never mind, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, so now we just step up. Take this. Um, I go. Let's shoot. There you go. That you're looking to disarm here. Three. Uh, it's fine. Honestly, just shoot and burn. Fury. Right. Uh, yeah, that hurts a little bit. No, we just heal. Does four? It's just bolts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wait. Like where was he? Can also just roar, right? Roar. I think and I just we take. Think oh, got me here. Uh, yeah. Let me go. One, two, three. No, I didn't realize you had precision for the longest time. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to pick that up. Because I was like, yeah, you got two armored units. I'm drafting a lot of archers. I think it'll be worth it. I did actually mention it where I was like, oh, I can't pick up yeah, shields yeah, anymore. Because you just. 30 seconds left on the clock. Nice. Yeah, you got me here. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. And then you can just send the center. Shoot this. GG. Yeah. <laughs> the, second, the second you hit me and you said piercing, I was like, oh. My mask, <laughs> my mask off. Yeah, that's a nasty one. Um, yeah, I had the lunch because, yeah, I was like, I can't grab shields anymore because I've got three items, right? Um, but it was well worth it. it was well worth it. Two. <laughs> Alright. Gonna go defensive again. Actually... So I've been warming. I've been warming up to going second. I still think going first has way more advantages, but 
like for instance against this list i think action economy is like hugely important so i will take going mm -hmm. second fair enough yeah i think the extra action will help me dearly Uh, all right. Do start my clock, I guess. All right. Uh, I'll let you start it whenever you're ready. <clears throat> so we got a bowmaster. Okay, yeah. Get pass. Bowmaster Fletcher. Rod. I think I'll start with dragons, to be honest. Oh. Fair enough. Hmm. Exactly. Uh. All right. Hmm. So for the viewers, um, this has been a very devastating card in the meta right now. Something that I really desperately need to play around, and like three people have brought it to this tournament because it's like super super strong. Um, but it is, n it, we're trying out a nerf this tournament where it comes in tapped um, when it's summoned, so we'll see. <clears throat> uh, Hippogriff. Man, Hippogriff is so difficult to counter <laughs> right off the bat as Gath. Mm. Uh, and I am going second. What if I counter with like Squarg Archer? Uh, it's so bad versus Gladehawks and stuff. Probably just go for like magic damage. Uh, I will need bombs. Let's just draft some bombs. Is this a... Yeah, double bombs. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh. You have, of course, not seen how last game went. No. But bombs seem to be the only answer to trees, so... <laughs> we go bombs. So, Caldrix... I don't know what you're running just yet, so that'll be interesting. Um, I mean, Scorgarch is an option. It's just really, really bad against Gladehawk. Uh, so what else do you have? What a Bowmaster. Uh, Norfing Sorcerer. Do you have a correct wire for that? I don't think you do, right? I do not, oh. no. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, you can run that Bowmaster just fine. <clears throat> um, let's just do Archer here. 23. you don't play Berserker there. I mean, the Berserker just dies, right? So I don't know if it's worth Yeah, it. but it's it's still 7 against 7. 7 against 7, I take the action. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And even if you don't take the action, it's still 7 against 7. And it's completely even trade. 
so it is true yeah the plus one action probably makes it worth I it i would but... say that's just the fine trade yeah yeah probably especially because uh hippogriff is so annoying to deal with Mm. Uh, yeah, that's I guess true. If you're Especially against Castle. With archers and stuff, then. Might be better, but still. Let's go Battle right. Fury, Arcane Stone. Good. How many shields? Three or one? No, two or one. Shield two. I don't think I'll need shield 2 against this, though. Some three life stuff popping in. I think I could actually take Chain Lightning 2 against this. Because I've noticed you have a lot of three life. That's Sylvan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <is> true. <laughs> that is just Sylvan. You have noticed I play Sylvan. <laughs> <laughs> can still hit through your three life, so let's do one score guard here since we've drafted Battle Fury. Gladehawk to counter. <clears throat> um, And a wisp. No tree has been drafted yet. All right. Interesting. Um. Probably gonna do one warlock. You're safe here, right? More or less. Got three. 39. <clears throat> Warlock did good work for me last game. Realized Carthal might have been better on left side because he can draft an Orfang Sorcerer on this side. Because I want to put Carthal like on one of the midline spots, but I think might have been better on left side just to dodge out of range of that. I guess he can still reach anyways, but oh well. Gladehawk in the center? Really? Uh, counter with Spike? I'll take that. I mean, you can take an action, but... Eh. Yeah. Gladehawk's quite a bit of trouble for me. Yeah. Well, it's still an action. It is. Um, although, 
if that's going to lock in your first move, then I get to take essentially first pick somewhere else on the board. Fair enough. Whether that's important or not, I don't know. <laughs> um... put a bear here. Oh, you can just put a bull elk there, actually. Well, is that the end of the world? Maybe. <laughs> Especially if you have a teleport to just save Haven it away or something. Um, let's go for Goblin Archer. Back up the Glide Hook. Maybe something happens to it. <clears throat> okay. Out of spaces. I want to run Scorg Sorcerer. You got one more Glide Hawk, that's fine. Uh, where does my Carthal go if I do this? Eh, 60 gold, that's fine. <clears throat> The 16 gold combo, substitute for black dragon. This is the issue with dropping the goblin bombers. I, I had a feeling these would be awkward. Next 
great hug, nice. <clears throat> Do I need to heal her this match? Got a lot of frail things. Perhaps not. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go for a buckler. Uh can play that later, I guess, since I need two gold. Answers to Carthal. Answers to Carthal. Not Carthal, Caldrix. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna beguile him. No beguiling this time. <laughs> <laughs> I even go round shield just in case he gets glade hawked. Glade hawk, maybe. No, it's just gotta be buckler probably. Good yeah, it's gonna be. I mean, it's probably like I don't know. Warlock potentially can exhaust it with Scorg. I need another Goblin Archer somewhere to deal with these Glade Hawks. Unfortunately, there's two on right side. If I put this Goblin Archer here, I guess that's fine. Yeah, we'll go for that. Because I've already got uh, Spike plus Archer on this side. Mm -hmm. Double healers. Second healer. Yep. Are we at 63? Do I need anything big? Uh, probably just a Hellbear is cool. Puts me to 71. No, not, cool. not cool, he says. Hellbear isn't cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the Hellbear. Helps me keep that Keldrix under check, potentially. <laughs> but I don't know. It's a lot of backstab. Felt that guy coming. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lock that buckler in before I forget, and then it can pass. <clears throat> Lots of three HP. Uh. 
Oops, the tree strike. Yep, that makes sense. Ah, uh, mana heal would be so good, but at the same time, war grider would also be kind of nice. Uh, healer, war grider, healer, war grider. Lock in the war grider. You got no debuffs. I, oh yeah, you can draft some, I guess. <laughs> um, let's instead draft a two gold since I need that anyways. Um, what do we got? We got lackey. We got hound. I like the hound. We could even put hound center. Playing hard into that blade echo, I know. It's <laughs> crazy. Okay. That's the. Uh, yeah, that's I want to open Ooh. up healer spot though. I need this open. Maybe we just do this then. Locking that in. <clears throat> so now I either have healer or warg. Depending on what you draft. It's just a taunt. Okay, you're still leaving that five gold open. <laughs> For the sorcerer. Uh, don't like that. I might need a healer then. Damn, I really wanted the Warg Rider. I can't get Norfang Sorcerer though. We're gonna go Troll Dock. I'm gonna go this. Here we go. And a Witch Hunter. Yeah, Witch Hunter makes sense. Uh, where did I go here? Yeah. First take is that. Um, so my first move, I think, is Battle Fury. Fair enough. Gotta threaten that hippogriff somehow. Too, a little bit more expensive. Gonna have to watch out for that expense. safe and he combined moves away why you gotta run so far not so far <laughs> just a bit. okay your swap on the left side is completely gone now so that's pretty nice no, no, no. Uh... So we have one, two glade hawks. Four. Two, 
we move right up in your face. Should be safe enough. Also, no trees. Um, that's surprising. Didn't have to pull out my counter strat. <laughs> Which involved goblin bombs. Now they're they're just kind of here. <clears throat> yeah, witch hunter's a problem. I have so much magic damage. <clears throat> uh, not at all. <laughs> My whole field is like magic damage. <laughs> 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 Here oh, I am prepping for trees, and I needed to be prepping against the witch hunter all along. I know. <laughs> That's why this, I like this so much, because I have Bowmaster in there, and just normal Calibrix <laughs> stuff, and then trees. Fair, it's all the bait. All for the bait. Uh, you are not entirely safe here. Pass. <laughs> Gotta think long and hard about how I'm answering Witch Hunter. No wish this one. Passing that one. Probably pass. I think this is a bad spot. Yeah, I'll just pass. Gotta play around these glade hawks a little bit. Don't have immediate answers to them. You're also preventing Carthel from stepping up whatsoever. <clears throat> he passes. This is going to be a very passive game, so I think... Oh, Scorgi's in trouble. Gotta be careful about that. Squarky's in a lot of trouble, actually. You got this glade hawk and the sentinel next to it, so you can move it up. There's a bear in the way. Well, there's a bear in the way now, but I gotta think about the Skorg's future. <laughs> <laughs> this feels a little sketchy, running so far away from home. You can run in tree strike, you can maneuver up. Right, that guy just backstabs though. It only takes three in retaliate. <sighs> Jeez, uh Uh, 
Not a lot of options. Heal it, I guess, but why would I need to heal it? Well, he's not under any immediate threat, but yeah. <laughs> there's the option to heal. I'm just there's, trying to. There's no way you can kill it this round, and no. nothing is threatening to kill it next round either. Yeah, there is not. The only thing I could be scared of is Warg Archer running in. Mm-hmm. Because. Everything else. Well, Warg Archer, Warg Archer, and Mentacore. But Mentacore, I don't need to heal again. Yeah, yeah. It's so just the, only just the archer. Warg Archer. I need to heal. So, I'm looking about getting my Manticore maybe into left side and switching the positions between my Warrior Archer. Because um, my Warrior Archer really needs to be to threatening this Witch Hunter. And I don't think the Manticore can do it. it he can just swap away. Oh, trading for the Glyph Hawk. There's a high chance you're gonna Archer it or. Hound it, and then I'm one action down. Fair. But now we're just post an action down. Uh, issue with coming here is you can just roar. You can roar me here, yeah. Um. What if I give you a little bait? We're even mm -hmm. enough on actions, I'll give you a little bait. Oh no. I want to kill it. <laughs> He's a juicy little goblin archer. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna throw my six gold guy into there. Just He's... to kill that. You know you want to. He's shiny. He's all <sighs> green and alluring. Big issue if I move my Manticore away, he can swap this Caldrix up and then threaten that Carthal and I need something to block with. And currently I don't have great answers to block with. <laughs> I suppose I could move Wargarch or Center, but <laughs> there's a lot of barriers here. Well, 
Right, if he moves Caltrix up, then we can Skorg, I guess. Fair enough. Yeah, I want to get that Skorg Sorcerer off, right? Uh, but the issue, yeah, the issue I'm seeing, like, we move the Manticore over, he does some roaring, and then what? And then what do we do? He roars the Manticore away somewhere. My one thinking is, if we move Manticore here... Ooh, taking the trade. Going for that bait instead. I saw the bait. I think oh, you yes. bait it yourself. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> I think you bait it yourself. Uh... This is going to be super sketchy. I think I'm safe to move here now. Wow. You move, you move the Barra, you roar it back. I guess. Um, but he's still in possession for next round. <clears throat> Swapping up Gladehawk. Really? Okay, I'm cool with that. Uh, we're gonna take center. Um, and we're gonna f kill your bear. Seven damage. Blap. That's pretty huge. That's pretty oh. huge. I think I, I think I got shot. <laughs> we'll oh, see if it. Man pays off, but I think that was a pretty big payoff. <laughs> hey, we got him! I can't believe we got Empire on the <laughs> the Manticore bait. Man, I've gotten so many people with that somehow. Taking Ursa with the Squarg into Manticore. I feel like people should be prepared for it now. Maybe he's baiting me. This is uber mind games back and forth That's between good. me and Empire. That's not good. It's it's a pretty big take. I'll take an archer for a, a bear. <laughs> and we get the center shield, which means that Gladehawk is no longer threatening. And Mr. Oh, I like that. Taking that shield away, yeah, that's gonna hurt. <clears throat> okay. What is the play here now? We still have one more swap. Swap that witch hunter into a nasty spot. Um, if I heal this to four life, you can no longer true strike it. Whether that's a concern of yours or not, I don't know. Uh, let's come up here. I think we're gonna burn root. Yeah. I think we're gonna maneuver up here now. Yes. I see some. Targets. It's a nice, nice chain here. 
Um, I think this is pretty good. So if I do this, you still have allied pathing. You can take this and you go one, two, three, you threaten these two. Um, not the best. You threaten those two, but I can just block again. It's gonna get very sketchy if I don't have answers to all this stuff, but I'll shoot ya. Action about to happen. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, that. Mm -hmm. Heal. Right. Removes roots. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I have one more action. Hippogriff takes this. Right, we can't even take the Hippogriff. That's not real damage. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh that's a pretty big take. Oh, you can do that. But... <clears throat> this might be the answer. Damage it. Uh, you can heal it back. Oh. Okay. sure what I do once he's healed. Hit 
hippogriff taking center is still pretty huge. Uh, four minutes. Right, you used your healer, so that works, I think. This costs two, we have one, two, three. Let me think about this. I think you're safe. Yep, good to go. Yeah, that's the reason that I couldn't rip that earlier, is because you had the healer open, so healer down. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. I am trying my hand at Gath again. This time with um Carthal. He's got a lot of damage. Um I have to mm. say, like I, I feel like Gath has a lot of weaknesses, but Carthal's got a lot of damage. <clears throat> that move makes a lot of sense. Um How important is killing the Carthal? Carthal fairy. Do I want to trade another four gold? I mean, you got four, seven, eight gold invested, and it takes away that true strike. That is pretty huge. I think it's honestly worth it. And it puts your guys next to my manticore, so one, two, three. I'll shoot him. I like it. Of course, that witch hunter is still a problem. <laughs> Definitely need answers to that witch hunter. with Hippo. Ooh, this is actually kind of a cool move. Blast this. We gonna threaten that witch hunter. There's my witch hunter answer. this a lot. Passes, kind of have to. So... Yeah, we make this our move. Here we go.
He is the hero sorcerer. So good, too. He's still alive. <clears throat> oh, he's at two attack, one range. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> he's pretty good. Uh, that's bad. You got that break. That's fine. Take that counter strike. Don't want to deal with Hippogriff anymore. He needs to go. <laughs> hmm. Possibly could have done that differently. Man, my clock's been on, like, so low, both of these games. It's very intense. There's just too much to think about. You'd be panically, panicking if you went sub-5. I Like, the earlier turns are so important to think about. Um, and, like, the earlier mid-game. Late-game, uh, like, trades just open themselves up, so I think it's easier. Yeah, I probably could have saved that Sorcerer, to be honest. Um, but that's okay. Still gotta think about how I'm answering this Witch Hunter. Uh, I guess I just take free units though. I am worried about this, but we have the removal, so yeah, we just take this. Imagine Witch Hunter just single handedly wins the game. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, oh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna take. Uh, I don't know whether yeah. I want the wisp or the healer is the thing, but probably the healer. Like I, I said, I do have the debuff removal, so it's probably okay. Yeah, sneaky little archer. I saw it before, but then I just forgot it. Right. Uh, um, so we got... Burn, silence... It's too bad I can't reach this mystic, A. Eh? Why do I keep saying A? Eh? <laughs> We're gonna burn and read this. Yeah. <laughs> no wisp right. for you. Wisp cannot attack the archer now. <laughs> That's true, the uh, mystic can attack. Oh, I got a pretty sick play coming up, I think. Maybe? For you? Maybe? I'm not sure. Let's see what you can do. Uh, now you can block it. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five actions. I only have four? Oh. Alright. You want to do that? Okay, I mean, there is something I can do that technically you can't block, but whether it's worth it or not for me, I don't know. Passes. 
move this up. I don't know where it's, if it's worth it. Yeah, man, like, Vesuvian Warlock's so good. He's a, like, what's that, five range archer? Or four range? Yeah, five range mm -hmm. archer. <laughs> five range, one damage. That's pretty good. Oh wait, what am I saying? You can't escape. How do you escape? All my stuff's got ranged. It's Battle Fury time. Yeah. Um, I think it's the Troll Doctor, because if you swap, I can still threaten. Plus one power and charging. A troll dock. <clears throat> but is it worth it? Neat little play. Um, I think it's. It's an option where I can yeah. just. Let's see, I lose Hellbear. Uh, I think it's fine. Let's get this. Move right here, shoot Witch Hunter. I have no answers to Witch Hunter, I have to do it. Absolutely have to do it. Um, Cause like, look at this chain lightning anyways. You can taunt, but then I get to save my unit. I think. It's pretty sketchy putting in range of bear, but Carthel's done his job. Wait, I had one unit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> he goes up, probably. Yeah, looks pretty safe. Okay, you go. Uh, this is dead. Yeah. Yeah, we let the chain lightning rip, probably. I don't think Battle of Fury is worth it. Yeah, we need to get it out before this dies. So that's three. Uh, one, two, one. Chain lightning! We got it! That's big! And the Manticore actually surviving. I think that was totally worth the Hellbear trade. That's pretty huge. Yeah, I like these numbers too because this Deepwood Sentinel gets put in range of uh, Goblin Bomber. If you move up, um, unless you do that, let's run away and heal. That doesn't do anything. No, I don't think so. Uh... 
I forgot you still had a healer. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, wait a sec. <laughs> Hold up a minute. Uh, can easily block that, right? Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, when the bear takes, I don't have great answers to the bear next round. Kind of nasty. This doesn't make sense to do that. 18 seconds? Okay. this up. Pass this. Okay, fair play. Uh, but it was bad, though. It was bad. Uh, although we can do that. Just funny. I am Defender, okay. Good to know. <laughs> This is an intense finish. 16 seconds on the clock. Mm. Man, that Battle Fury troll doctor is so cool. <laughs> and the chain lightning pop off. It's really nice. We gotta watch I it. Should, last round I missed play. I shouldn't have taken Perhaps, the yeah. Two. I'm thinking at lightning speeds here as well. You're just, just taking the thing. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, I was curious why you didn't take the thing. Cause... Yeah, I when I didn't when I thought about it, I thought ah, then Carthel is gonna be there, but it's a range attacker. I mean, <laughs> I would have just passed and then like lightning bolt the bear, I guess. But then yeah, you got that healer open still. Uh, no, uh, yeah, fair enough. But then also, uh, I think I get to do something with the Manticore. Mm. Uh, it was kind of huge that I got to heal this up. Bear takes now, so we got to pass. Yeah, we had two chain lightnings, but Carthel's pretty much dead. I'm gonna just let the chain lightning rip here, I think. This is a heal. One, two, three. 
go. No healing that boy. Mm. You can run him away, but like there's no point in running away. Uh, I get one chain lightning next round, so it's pretty important to take it this round. It is going to come down to Manticore. Like he takes the Carthal, Manticore survives. We probably heal it because I don't think he has answers to the Manticore. Yeah, we just heal the Manticore, right? That's our next move. Because he can't... Yeah, uh, I guess. Then, uh, yeah, it's going to be bad either way. Um, so, he, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Do this and heal. And then you can't... You can swap. Nope. We have to take this. With... Not with, well... No. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I need to take the uh, witch run. Five. Almost ran out of time there. Still safe. Oh, but then you do that. Oh! Yeah. I had 10 seconds. Other players got 10 <laughs> seconds. Come on. I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's your win then. <laughs> oh, I won that one. Sad. There's uh, no way you can win because I'm defending. I don't know. I'm defender, so you, there's no way you can kill this, right? No. Uh, wait. You archer this, and then you take. You only take two retaliate. Wait, let, let's see. Let's see. So your next move yeah, is. So. If I skip. I think I have to skip. Is don't you might as well move it up because if you skip, it's the same thing as like. No, moving it up doesn't matter because it's round six. If I move it up, you just take it. Right, that's true. And that's it's true. round six, yeah, and then yeah. you're next mm -hmm. to the middle three deck, etc. Yeah, if I skip, that's true. If you skip, I have, you have to, to skip. go first, and then I have to skip. And now I can do this. So it's round six. Let's just flip the round. So I, I've passed, uh, you moved up. Yeah. And then I can do this. And you go first. Yeah, 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 yeah. nice. I think you No, wait, if I skip it, I go first. I, I just have to do a nonsense move with my healer, but yeah. And now, if you attack me, I take the middle. Yeah, and it's if round skip, seven. I just deal this. Yep, you do that, and you move center, and you take two. Two. Nice. <laughs> nice finish. All right, so you you got the win, anyways. Yeah. Um. Awesome. Okay, I don't feel <laughs> so bad anymore. Been ever. <laughs> Chat's like, play it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well played. You got it. You got it. All right, I'll start the clock. Uh, let's go rod and pass. Mm -hmm. Right, you gotta use the arcane stone. <laughs> so you just keep doing this.
It's basically a meme. It looks like it. <laughs> I think I just draft a single Hellbear. I mean, you can one-shot Hellbears, so... Yeah. You have to like, answer the answer. It's just like the soul I, easel combo. Yeah, I still do need that Hellbear, though. Okay, this is... Hmm. Uh, let's go with Battle of Fury. Honestly, Arcane stands good as well. Here you go. You're wrong. <clears throat> Too much. And there's probably... Wow. This isn't an extra game, this is game three. Yeah, it's game three. Arches. What do you have that's aggressive? Uh, looks like nothing that can reach the front lines except Craig. Uh, we got Craig, a spike color hound. That looks to be it. I guess goblin bombers. So pretty much just Craig. Um, can I put a hatchling here? Hatchling doesn't have to go there, but should be fine. <clears throat> Schedule so behind? Well, I had two games go down to time, and then we had that big discussion. Each round seems to have started 75 minutes. I went down to time in <laughs> both games. Uh, Grunt. Pretty good defensive option, yep. Um, yeah, let's try the same thing this side. <laughs> <laughs> You make me do it. <laughs> Aha! Jabated. <laughs> oh, you pump. So I need something to counter that move now. Yep, you counter my counter. Line. counter. We're just gonna play the game before we even start. Um. <laughs>
<clears throat> Mr. Craig Wyvern. Okay, a lot of 4 HPs, so I think we can go for Iron Huff. Iron Huff front. Overheat's pretty funny against that build. <laughs> Cannot be healed. Oh, Vulture coming down. Lucky. I'm gonna go for chain lightning one. Mm -hmm. Fifty. <clears throat> okay, so Craig's down. That's aggressive option down. Oh, we coming with black dragon. Oh wow. It's pretty big. Hmm. I'm going first. That's pretty big. <clears throat> uh... Probably want a buckler. Gotta make up sixteen gold. Um Black Dragon. Probably gonna need a healer against this. Um Uh do I want Buckler? Where is Mr. Carthel going? I could even put the center silence round one, but uh, not this, not this. Not any I don't think it's really worth it. I'll just go. The <laughs> double, <laughs> double warlocks. Deal with it. Mr. Dragon. We're at 66, so we're at 14. Not much left. Alright. We just do that and that. Mm 
Hmm. Pretty hard to deal with that thing. Let's do this. Or. <clears throat> I have that many big things yet. Dragon, no dragon hatchlings to worry about. Just yeah, big black I had them dragon. in my list, but then I cut them for all this nonsense uh, items that I haven't <laughs> used once. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Another big boy. Okay. Um, I think we can run Score Garcher front line. I got two gold left only. Um, Gonna be an interesting series of events in round one. Uh, yeah, I think we grab a buckler. Seventy-one. Carthel probably goes here because I don't want to get blasted. <clears throat> Um, definitely don't want to get blasted. Uh, flanker's an option. You only have two archers, though, and then the rest is going to be Argog. So we've got reflexes to deal with, uh, swift strike, big kite shield. And broadsword, which just slaps everything around. So we need some small things, I suppose. Uh, probably archer. Can we put front? Could run a vulture of my own. <laughs> Deal with Argog. Let's just go War Grider. Hmm. <clears throat> Argog's pretty big. Yeah, we just need chip damage. I think we can go Archer this side. Um, and then three. So we got that buckler locked in. And we can just draft like an archer or something. Archer in the back, maybe to protect Carthal. Uh Don't mind it. It's just a big gaping hole in my defenses. There you go. Question is, do I just take bite collar 
or Omni Slash. Omni slash. He says no to the little guys. Uh, all right. So first moves probably Battle Fury. Flex a swift strike on the slash broadsword. He's juiced up. <clears throat> Swapping sides. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this. Seems like a fine take. Uh, he's got plus one power. Uh, I mean, is that a fine take? <sighs> I could shoot this, then I get this. Kind of. I think it's alright. Um, probably lose it, but I should be able to get the value back in the meantime. Yeah, you just do that, and then we just wait on this left side for a little bit. <laughs> Save it for later. It's all Save this game it. is. It feels like it's like waiting for the time because it's very time based. Yeah, you gotta Action wait for the based. right timing. Yeah, it's very interesting. So you have to like check like what's you know order of operations, I guess. Mm -hmm, cool. Exactly. Okay. That's why Sylvan's so powerful, I think, because you can't really determine that, because they can just change. Exactly. The When you have maneuverability tricks, I think it's hugely important. That's why I went for Battle Fury Trank. also. Cause, yeah, and Trank. Because I think Battle is Fury so is... Uh, I think Battle Fury is Gath's only, like, trick option, even though I popped it, like, turn one. Like, eh, just less options to use it, I guess, but... Um... It doesn't hurt you though. I mean, you have the mana regen, so. Mm hmm. Then you're gonna out action me anyways, I think, unless. It's like the very last. Unless thing. I lose a bunch of stuff, yeah. Uh, so this should be an okay take. Uh, bomb doesn't really do that much. Oh wait, that just sets up a great black dragon for you. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. <laughs> um, taking center looks alright. Oh, you're right. I don't need that hellbear. I was gonna save that for your big argog, but. He didn't get all the, he didn't get all the downy pillows. No longer need Hellbear. Uh, 
Is this worth the one damage range? Sure. Burn and root. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't have to step here. I can step here. Yeah, that puts you out of range of everything. I guess I could have saved that for the Goblin Bomber. I guess the Bomber was a little bit more threatening, yeah. Could have just stepped out that Spike Collar out of range. The Bomber's the one that can threaten Warlock and stuff. Yeah, but you have three things there. Mm -hmm. Ganging up on him. I think we're just gonna come in here. Mm -hmm. So we traded seven for seven. So game plan here pretty much is to kite around the dragon, uh, deal with his other stuff, because I don't have great answers to the dragon. We might do like a silence or a root next round, but uh, I don't really want to do it this round. It's not like super important. <laughs> Moves up. Okay. like all the way up. Does this accomplish anything? I don't know. Perhaps not. Um, this helps me protect my warlock possibly in the future. I don't know. Uh, could also be a bit more threatening, actually. Come this way. This is a little bit more threatening. Covers more ground. Here you go. Keeps the bomber under check, and it covers this area. I could burn the other one. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're good on actions. 
Indeed. Gonna take him. I don't know if that's. I just don't know what to do else. What else to do? <laughs> we got a hard lock on right side. No one's mm -hmm. doing anything. That Argog is too spooky. So is the Black Dragon. Uh, so we will take. What is the range? One, two, three, four, five. So I could actually reach him here because I have plus one range. So next round. Put some in Goblin. Well, he's always in Goblin Bomb range. Yeah. Shoot this. So let's put some in Battle Fury range still if I want that option for next round. Pretty cool. Just realized that does open up because my Spike Killer Hound's here. That opens up kind of a nice blast for him, actually. Probably shouldn't have put the Archer there. Yikes. We might have to do something about this dragon, actually. I just gave him kind of a nice trade. Skip a bomb. Skip a bomb. Um, let's go silence, no healing. Um, this should guarantee my kill on the lackey. Well, mm -hmm. I guess not guarantee, but... Because I could just not anything that's wrong with it. You could not, not heal it, and then you lose the lackey. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> he saves the lackey. Yeah. Or you lose the lackey and get a dragon. stalemating here. I guess I'll just line up an extra kill on the bomber. Oh, right. I opened this up for you. Maybe I gotta move the hell bear now. Argog's so spooky though. If I move the hell bear, then he's in danger. <laughs> Argog's also got three movements, so you can get an Omni Slash spot if I'm not careful. This is a great spot for you if I move hell bear here. Might be sacrificing this. I guess that's fine. If you move Black Dragon in, you're just not healing. Two, three. Yeah, let's just send you over here. for the shot. Maybe I can patch holes with this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of spaces there. <laughs> you like you have to make no pockets, but I think a pocket always exists in this game at some point, right? 
Yeah. That That's dragon's... the issue. That dragon's got a lot of space. Um... Can just chain lightning this, but then Argog steps up. Potentially, uh, maybe I just allow you to have it. Like if I move this up, uh, just put so much pressure on everything. <laughs> A lot going on. Yeah, I guess if I put this here and you come in, you do a big sweep, then I get to lay into him. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's fine. This gives me a chance to patch. That's probably the best move. I, get, get I mean, you can come here. I think that's fine. It's a lot of a lot of space not covered by this dragon. If I go over there, though, I don't get laid into, and I can get chip damage at least. But the value is like juice right there. I mean, it's one of it's gonna get healed, but I'd rather just get. Uh, yeah, that's just better. At some point. I know you're trying to line up that too, probably. So I just. Skip with this, unless you want to put another, cover another hole. I think you just move here at that point. Yeah, if you don't move the dragon, base, like, you just go this here, get goal. this free kill. You just go here with the hatch. Yeah. Like Your minotaur is covering this space, but I mean, if I it's use something not. lower value like dragon, it should be okay. But then you have three. Four, five, six, seven, ten. <clears throat> so you have enough. So it's, it's not worth the black dragon. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just... All right, you have the grunt, so I gotta be careful about that, I guess. Shot there. This is three thirty for you there. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so I was a little bit worried about the grunt stepping in range of the hatchling, but he should be safe now. Oh wait, one, two, three. Yeah, hold on a sec. Mm, hold on a sec. Uh, can take this dragon if I do this. Uh, I think this is okay. I'm... Oh my god, I'm opening up such a big dragon though. <laughs> dragon. Uh, you got eight life. We got. Two, four. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so if I step here, dragon comes in. I 
think it's okay. <laughs> Just Argog can take this. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Can hopefully get a grunt out of this. Very high complexity board state. Uh so I moved the dragon there to protect my castle because I don't want this Argog moving up. I want, I'm trying to get this chain lightning off, but if he moves up, uh, takes or if he moves the Argog up right here, and I've chain lightning, I don't have an answer to Argog, and then castle's kind of dead. And I don't want to lose castle, even though Argog's also quite big. Castle's just really nice ping damage to deal with this dragon in the future. Though I have kind of locked myself into taking this grunt now because I've lined it up uh, for him to take the hatchling, but uh, it's pretty easy for the Argo to just take it, right? Or I've got this Warg Archer on the side as well if Argo does something else for some reason, but I don't think... Uh, he can plant himself right here and get a yeah. huge Omni Slash. Uh, it's pretty good, but I can just roar it away, right? I can roar the Argog. No Omni Slash. So we keep the Halberd open for a while. Unless it's going in with a dragon here. Ooh, slapping in with dragon. Uh, yeah, I respect it. Got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, only got nine damage. Only nine damage. That's a big chain lightning, though. It's like I only have chain lightning one, but yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you're safe there. It's just cash range, so it's still two and two. Jesus. It's it's big damage. I really like chain lining one actually. Uh, chain three is hard to pull off, like good chain lightnings. But like four damage, not too bad. So yeah, if he moves with the dragon, the plan would be to then heal Hellbear and just take a slap into it because uh, this Hellbear does 5 damage with that burn uh, DOT. So I think it's worth it just to slap with Hellbear. He goes for it. I do something. I don't know what to do at this point. It's very high tension. Mm -hmm. Very high tension. Um, let's protect against Argog. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just come up here. Deal two. Now I gotta think about other possible black dragon lines you can take. moving on up. Uh, we're gonna do a heal and then 
don't know if there's anywhere safe. I guess I can come here. That's reasonably safe. Uh, because that, you can't kill the troll dog. Yes, we'll do it like that. Going for that Omni Slash. Or the Carthol. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot to just grab a free Carthol. Not bad. Um, one, two, three. But I am just going to go for this. That lines up a really nice Vulture for you, though. Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm passed out. Oh, you done. Um, all right. So, question is to save Carthol or not to save? Because like taking the dragon there doesn't do anything for me at this point, where the game matters. I'm like forcing your hand here. Dragon's pretty huge still, but it is. Um, That's what I'm saying. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, like, Let's see. It, it was the better this. play. I felt like you had, it was, I mean, maybe taking the dragon is right. And you get some value there, you know. Thanks. Um, unfortunately, if I lose Carthal, it's a big loss, but, I mean, I also take your black dragon if you don't do anything about it. So, yeah. Here you go. This is dead. Indeed. Probably save Carthal here then, right? Uh, just kind of makes sense. We can take something out with me, I guess, because I can combinable this. So we'll. Is the archer? Yeah, the archer's kind of threatening. Archer's actually really threatening. So I'll take this combine move back. Um. Unless you get a free war archer, but ah, eh, is it free though? Good bomb. Uh, if we heal this, you deal essentially six damage. So yeah, we gotta retreat this. Put you here. We just omni here then. Looks good. It's a lot of units dead. Uh Can't heal this dragon at all. So Battle Fury. 
Should have bombed that. What was I thinking? I thought you were gonna bomb it, but I mean this was also not bad was because not of threatens. Great. Not great either though. Uh, you could have gotten a free unit, but also this iron hoof was threatening. S eh, maybe it wasn't threatening anything. Let me dock this, I guess. Ah, healing, nice. Um, all right, I kind of have to take the damage while I have it. This dies, but I'm going to have four damage on this. Uh, four damage. Yeah, probably should have moved that away. Maybe you'd have got the grunt then, but I think the. I would have got your four. healer. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think you had an answer. I think no. the score archer would have survived then. Yep. Um, yeah, this makes sense. I get four damage and your goblin bomb out of this. Bomb. Or I can just minotaur it. Right. No one. You could, but it puts it in threat one, one. range of my iron hoof. Hmm. Yeah, so I think the goal now is possibly to run away from the Argog. We have a guaranteed kill. We need to make sure that we kill the Black Dragon. I need two damage there. Um, it would be nice if I could use Carthal to take the kill on it, actually. I don't want my Hound to die. Because my Hound would die if I go Archer plus Hound. So I might actually... Uh, hmm. And he's in range of Argog. I guess the Hound's dying here. Sad. Oh well. <laughs> <clears throat> Takes with Minotaur, okay. Um Might as well take a heal. Uh... Unfortunately, I can't burn this again with like the Vesuvian Warlock. That would be nice, but burn does not stack like that. <laughs> Moves into range of Iron Hoof. Um, yeah, this is kind of sketchy. I do actually have to leave this in range, I think. Because I need to kill this black dragon, and I need archer plus hound, I think. Because if I leave Carthal here, he's kind of <laughs> dying for no reason. A little unfortunate. Uh, Archer probably stays here. Ah, uh, we can threaten that, uh, Goblin Bomber. Oh wait, where's Carthal going if I step here? Yeah, I don't think I want to step him back. I guess we're staying here. <laughs> oh, you're not hitting him. Uh, well, he's got two range, right? Oh, we're gonna just shoot him from here. So I've got an escape route for Carthal. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Because I want Carthal to still be in an aggressive position. Uh, you're at eight. Lag, sorry. Yeah. I will have to sack my hound here. Ooh, the heal! That's pretty clever. Didn't think about that. Yeah, 
we'll throw the hound in. Yeah, hound's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, heal. <laughs> Hmm, giving me an opportunity to pass, but I don't think I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll look at pass there. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passed out. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset the timer and then... Uh... What can we do with the Warlock? Oh, we can burn! Wait, this is great. Can burn this guy? And there's my extra damage I need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, that's my warlock done, though. But I think it's fine if I threaten this. Yeah, let's go end round. Black dragon dies. Here you go. So yeah, your first move kind of has to be to save that Minotaur there. Um, can do it with a heal, but then I get to save my Minotaur. I'll hit burn. Does that mean I can save him? Yeah, I can save him, right? Uh, whether I want to or not, though. Oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, I need that Iron Hoof to survive, don't I? Yep, Mr. Ironhoof's gonna live to fight another day. He's gonna run away. Uh... It's gonna be kinda rough. It's gonna be a rough next turn. Uh... Yeah, we'll come here. Heal this up. Okay, here you go. <laughs> you guys ready for the Battle Furied Vesuvian Warlock? It's happening. Versus. Or not. I guess if he steps there. Well, it still can happen. Um, yeah, let's battle of fury this. Bomber's gonna be a problem, isn't it? <coughs> uh, move up here. Heal the burn. It's getting very close. <laughs> uh, stepping in range, though. It's a little bold. I'm gonna ping the shield. Oh my god. How do I deal with Iron Hoof? Um, if I chain here, you, pro you just heal Grunt? No, doesn't matter. Okay, Iron Hoof's dead. We need to take something out, I guess. We'll attempt. We'll make an attempt. Oh, good. 
we shoot this since this is dead no matter what we shoot this oh right this dies what am i saying i got plus one power right yeah that's a great oh take. burn i completely forgot this had yeah that does oh, three damage nice yeah, right you got me. and round yeah it was super spooked there but yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good yeah you got me shoot this yep uh yeah that's game though pretty sure yeah we battle fury this again uh then we move up I forgot that it, this rarely comes up when it attacks. That's really I think it's, actually good. I think it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome that you can battle Fury this and actually deal three. Really yeah. Good. Do this. And it's pretty good range at that point, too, because it has a hog pathing. It is, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, I guess I can step right up here because I'm the attacker. Yeah. I mean, this dies. And, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, and then we just battle fury, kill this. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Yep, good game, man. Yeah, GG. Yeah. Well played. <laughs>